Aloha doobies, welcome to part two of what I ate at Foodland. I decided to try out some of their pre-made food for dinner and rate them. Needless to say, I went a little ham because I'm a greedy bitch. For appetizers, smoked clam dip. Why, you may ask, and my answer is because I wanted to, and I'm an adult, I can do whatever I want. Four out of 10, too much liquid smoke. Next, the renowned poke. But I was a little skeptical that a grocery store would do a good job, but oh boy. This is one of the best I've had on the trip, especially their secret spicy ahi poke. Solid, nine out of 10. Now, the garlic chicken. As far as grocery store fried chicken goes, this is pretty good, sweet and salty with a good amount of garlic. Maybe a bit more would have been nice, but never ask a Korean if there's enough garlic. 7.5 out of 10. On to the Korean bento. Eh. The mandu wasagi, pork and veggies, under seasoned kimchi, very mid. 5.5 out of 10. Efforts for trying. Now their kombu sesame musubi. Interesting flavor combo and I liked it. 7 out of 10. I wanted to try their fried chicken musubi, but unfortunately everything was a bit dense, a bit too dry. 5 out of 10. Finally for dessert, ube ice cream sandwich. So good. Also, locally made in Hawaii. Great flavors and nice chewiness in the cookie. 8.8 .8 out of 10.